So, hello, if you tell us your name and um, what brought you here and what you feel. Is that the second time? Is it? You came to the tent? Second time. So, first time. No, I mean this way. Oh, yeah, it's the second time. So, just your name and why, what brought you here, what you feel about this atmosphere. Well, I I wasn't planning it. I just was walking by, and like everybody else walking by, and I felt an ache in my heart Sorry. that so many people are walking by because this is an important issue, whether you believe it or not. It's still an important issue, and this is the seat of learning in Newcastle, the University of Newcastle. So. I thought they're offering this information. I'll go and see what they have to say. It's not hard. They can even charge me. <laughs> yeah, the free food. <laughs> yes, sir. No, I get the bill at the end of the week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about that. There's no bill. Everything's free. Yeah. So I know everybody's saying that's our duty to clarify the misconceptions about us now. But I mean, without with the media around and how they show Islam and cast it to people. Do you think it is it's actually mainly our issue or do people need to learn more about Islam? Or is it us as Muslims we need to reach everyone in the society and try to explain what Islam is? Well, my first impression, I didn't realize that this was a yearly event. I thought it was a response to the world situation at the moment, which is very hostile to Romans. And I thought it's a wonderful thing to a great thing to open the doors to people and say, come in, ask questions, hear what we have to say, see what we really are about. What do you think is the main barrier between Muslims or that stops Muslims from integrating with the society? What is the main thing that makes it a bit hard for Muslims to the, to feel that they are part of the society? Well, the main problem, as I see it, with that issue is that it's self-perpetuating. People flee into their safe refuge because people on the outside are hostile and so people on the outside become more hostile because see how these people keep themselves and so on and it goes round and round like it has happened with the Jewish community and other communities. I mean, Muslims have been here since the ages ago, but let's say it's been drawn since the 1800s and the 1700s where the Yemenis and the Somalis start to come to work in the ports and if they fight hard and the people knew that the first mosque was built in the 1960s, I'm sure they've tried hard to reach out and to show the message of peace, the message of peace that was true. true Islam. I know the media now and the extreme, uh, extreme side of Islam has showed up, but don't you think that it's a duty on the British? to really try to understand the real Islam. Sometimes I know that Muslims have... It's both. It's both. It's both. It's both. It's both. So both are sides. Because you can't do the whole thing and they can't do the whole thing either. Do you think we're doing enough as Muslims now? You're doing what you can. We do what we can. And I think Today, in this tent, people are doing more than that. So in general, just, just, I want in general. But I don't have the answer with it. Yeah. So what do you think about the tent? Did you get, did you get the right answer? Oh, I was going to say, it was on, the, on my tongue, was that it's gone. <laughs> Um, that's fine. I mean, in general, just about in general, it's very friendly, positive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. That was really good.